Hello everyone and welcome to another Space Engineers mod overview. Today I'm going to be going over the Deuterium Fusion Reactors mod. In this mod there are five reactors and two other blocks which I'll be going over. For the visual overview I've only placed down one of these reactors because they all look the same, just with varying levels of power. So as you can see this design is really really cool, there's a lot of detail here. I haven't even turned it on yet because there's another element which I'll show you when it's on. But as you can see there's this nice glass effect, kind of more of a, a frosted kind of texture to this glass and it looks really really cool and it's see-through. There's a control panel on this side and as you can see there's these pipes going in and it's these, uh, I guess, these are kind of pistons in a way. At the front there's a conveyor point. Both sides of this reactor are practically the same functionally and uh, look-wise. Now I'm going to turn this reactor on just to show you what this looks like. As you can see, when you turn this reactor on, this really, really cool particle effect occurs of this blue electrical ring. This looks really cool. And this effect is on every single reactor, and I believe it's the same effect on every reactor, regardless of the power. This block is also 3x3x2, three by three by so this is actually smaller than a regular large reactor. So let's have a look at the variants of the reactors in this mod. The first one is a 1 gigawatt reactor. That is over three times as powerful as the normal large reactor, and that's the lowest end version. The second one is a 2.5 gigawatt version. The third one is a 7 gigawatt version. The fourth one is a 15 gigawatt version. And the last one, which is ridiculous, is a 30 gigawatt version. Now let's have a look at the deuterium processors. So these blocks turn stone, yes, stone, into deuterium. That's how these reactors are powered, stone. So this is the normal version, and pretty much all you have to do is put stone in it and it will generate deuterium. But this version is slightly different. With this version, you can put stone in it, and like an assembler, you can queue the amount of deuterium you want. This is just a normal deuterium processor, and I'm gonna demonstrate it turning into deuterium. This is regular stone. As you can see, it turns it into deuterium. And this is put into the reactor. And that is all this mod uses. That is all these reactors use. Now, bear in mind, these processes generate a very, very, very small amount of deuterium. So I think for every 3,000 stone, it generates about 0.3 of a deuterium container, which isn't a lot when you use the higher end reactors, but for the lower end, it's actually all right. So the 30 gigawatt reactor uses much, much more deuterium. So you may need multiple deuterium processes depending on how often you're using it and how much power you're using. If you're using it at the full 30 gigawatts, you're gonna need a lot of stone. But that's fantastic, although maybe a bit overpowered because uranium is hard to find. And if you can just make 30 gigawatts max with stone, that might make it unfair for some people. When paired with a mod like the Defense Shields, these reactors are fantastic. There's always a power problem with shield mods, with the shields not having that much power to work with, with the in-game reactors in vanilla. So adding a mod like this, or the Azimuth Power Mod, really, really increases the power of the shields by a tremendous amount. I believe a shield, if you place a 30 gigawatt reactor down, depending on the size of the ship, it can be about 100 million hit points in that shield. These reactors can also be used on a small grid scale, but the power is scaled down. So the least powerful reactor in small grid scale puts out 20 megawatts. The second smallest is 45. The third is 75. The second best is 150, and the best is 210 megawatts. 210 megawatts on a small grid is nearly as much as the large reactor. However, the disadvantage of the small grid versions is that you can't put a processor on a small grid. They just are not available. <laughs> so you will need to create the deuterium containers from a large grid and put them into the reactor on the small grid for this to work. So you can't create them on the go if you're doing a long journey. So that concludes my overview of the deuterium reactors mod. This is an absolutely fantastic mod and I would suggest anyone who uses shield mods and other weapons mods like the directed energy weapons mod do try this out because it's great, but not in vanilla, because this mod generates, because you can generate so much power with such little resources, I think this is 
too overpowered for a survival vanilla world. If you're using a weapons mod with weapons that consume a lot of energy, and a shield mod with shields that consume a lot of energy, I think reactors like these are fair. But in a vanilla world, when you can generate a megawatt with not much stone, I think that's a bit too overpowered. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, because it does mean a lot to me. And consider subscribing to this channel. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.